Well, so far we have understood a lot about the basic fundamentals of software testing lifecycle, which includes a lot of terminologies, different processes and approaches which are applied as a part of the software testing lifecycle. Further, getting into that is more important to understand that how you can implement these learnings back into the products or different tools with help of understanding the practical approach of the same. So that's where we will be getting started today, parallelly with other learnings of the theoretical aspects that how exactly tools are helpful to us in testing and how it can minimize our efforts in order to produce higher efficiency and good development rate. So today we will be getting started with a new product called as ALM, which is Application Lifecycle Management. And this will contain a series of tutorials to understand that how ALM actually works, what kind of features it has and how it can benefit us as a part of testing lifecycle. So let's get started with the tutorial number one. Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell and in this tutorial we are getting started with introduction to ALM in order to understand what exactly ALM is all about and how exactly ALM can help you in order to perform test management and manage different resources related to testing. So in this tutorial we have agenda to understand what is ALM, the history of ALM, features of ALM, major components of ALM and also to understand a bit of benefits of ALM. So let's start with the very first thing. Now generally when you talk about ALM, ALM stands for Application Lifecycle Management Tool and is a web-based tool that helps organization to manage the application's lifecycle right from the project planning, requirement gathering, until testing and deployment, which otherwise is a time-consuming task if done without help of a tool. Now generally, when you try to manage all these resources without a tool, you make use of generally an Excel. But Excel also is considered as a tool when you talk about testing. So anything which aids as a part of your process in order to manage your resources or make your job easier and simplified is what you call it as a tool. Now it's just like the ALM is a better way to manage your resources compared to Excel because Excel may have number of sheets and number of different workbooks which at any point of time might be quite confusing to search around. And that's where we want to make sure that we have a systematic tool arrangement which helps us to navigate to the required directory at any point of time and reach out to the respective set of data. The test management tools was initially developed by Mercury Interactive, which is a very small company quite earlier. And then it was taken over by HP and then HP has taken to modify it further. And then at some point of time, the HP also has handed over the tool to another organization called as Microfocus, which was supposed to be one of the competitor of HP at certain point of time. So right now, the product is owned by Microfocus and called as ALM. The transfusion between the versions we will be discussing in the upcoming slides. So this is the history of the ALM, which also talks about the transition of the tool from an older version to the latest version available in the market right now. The Microfocus Quality Center was earlier known as Test Director, which was a product of Mercury Interactive. Mercury Interactive was a very small South African based organization. When they created this tool, they had no idea that how to sell this tool into the market being a small organization. So they uh, had a collaboration with HP in order to promote their product and move that into the market. Well, HP coordinating with the Mercury Interactive, they also started working on it to enhance it further putting that high level of quality and enhancing the features within the test director. Later, the test director was acquired by HP completely and then the HP moved some of the features to a different extent and renamed the product from test director to quality center. Where test director was right from version 1.52 to 8.0. Where when HP acquired and renamed it, it was the version 9 from where HP has taken over and worked on till 10.0. It also continued to be journey of moving from quality center to application lifecycle management. 
where Quality Center was just limited to the project planning and had different features like different segments of re managing requirements, managing tests, managing ex executions and defects, but didn't have a very high extent features of integrating a lot of other tools and many other factors. That's where uh, when we implemented everything end to end for an application, the tool was renamed right from 11.0 as application lifecycle management. And today the version what you have available in the market is 15.0. So it's, the tool is all about making sure that it has solutions for end-to-end -end of a particular project needs, right from the project planning to the executions and in fact integrating a lot of external applications. Further, when you talk about the static features of ALM, which is like salient features, which adds a lot of uh, attraction to the product and why a lot of organization across the globe makes use of this product is what we would like to know. So the main modules or features of this tool includes release management, which is to generally manage the releases and have all the traceability between the test cases to the release. So this module allows you to have an integration between all other part of your project details to the release which you can actually manage with the tracking and project planning concepts. The second module is requirement management which in simple terms is to manage the requirements where you can create, modify, delete or even track the progress on the requirements. Similarly, you do have test case management which allows you to manage your test cases where you can create test cases, modify test cases, or delete a test case. In fact, you can also import test scripts from external sources. So yes, the test plan module will help you to do that. The test case execution management is all about executing the test cases which you have written in the previous module. So you import the test cases to the test lab in order to execute them and also define the dependency between the test cases in order to define the test execution schedule that how exactly the dependency lies and how these test cases can be executed with certain meeting, uh, meeting the preconditions. Defect management is another important aspect which is fulfilled by the ALM and has features to manage your defect. So this allows end-to-end -end management of the defect, including reporting the defect, managing the details, updating the information, and also tracking the progress of the defect. Last but not the least, another important part of it is reports management, where you can actually manage the entire reporting and graph preparation of the entire project which you are working with. So that helps a lot to get monitoring perspective and also take necessary control actions at any point of time when required. The next part of it is QC versus ALM, the comparison between the two and what makes us uh, you know, to be called as application lifecycle management because the features which we just discussed about was also there a part of QC. So when you talk about the ALM, that is Microfocus ALM application lifecycle management has some additional features when compared to the older version of the same that is Quality Center. For example, project planning and tracking. So this tool allows the users to create KPIs, which is key performance indicators using ALM data and tracks them against the project milestones. So if you have certain milestones defined under the release management, it can very well track those KPIs and tell you how you are achieving your milestones and what necessary is to be done. Defect sharing this tool also provides the ability to share defects across multiple projects. So that means you have a cross project relationship between the tools. Project reporting is obviously another important thing which we always need whenever we talk about a test management tool. So this tool provides customized project reporting across multiple projects using predefined templates. Integration with other tools, this tool provides Integration with other automation tools like Load Runner, Unified Functional Testings, and also enable you to perform and manage the REST APIs. Moving ahead, this is the major component of the ALM, where you first try to log in into the tool or you launch the tool for the first time. This is what your home screen would look like. Remember that ALM is a web-based application and works with a browser, so it has a very good navigation which you can just click and move to the next one but yes as it is a centralized tool it allows you to have global access on this tool subject to you have connectivity to that particular server where it is installed so yes we have 
application lifecycle management with these major components including ALM desktop client which will allow you to access the uh, core part of the project, lab management to manage the resources when required to work with performance testing, my performance tester or center is another tool which is performance center to do per centralized performance testing and has the configurations to configure a scenario and run that. So if you you know have the license for that you would find this option and you can operate that. Site administrator is just like a the control panel of the tool as I told you that ALM is a tool which can be customized and users or organizations are allowed to change the settings and define the criteria to use the tool and that's where the site administration will be the panel where one person in the organization will play the role of site admin and has the rights to create users create project or assign a project to the user uh, work on the database or work on the back end in order to modify the details provide user permissions and a lot many other things like that additionally you do have a link directly on the page to move to the add-ins or any other tools required to integrate. For example, if I want to import data from Excel or export data from ALM to Excel, I would need a simple add-in to be installed. And for that, we don't want you to go to Google. Rather, you can just click on this tools link and it will take you to the necessary set of add-ins required for anything. So it has a wonderful inbuilt community in order to support you with everything else. Working with benefits of ALM to understand that what kind of benefits we can achieve when having ALM within our organization. So easy to understand and easy to use. So it's very user friendly and it uses a very simple language in order to relate to things related to the activities. It provides integration with external tools such as MicroFocus UFT for automation testing and MicroFocus Loadrunner for performance testing. It also has visibility of the project status to other stakeholders of the project. All people need to have is a registered user account on ALM in order to access and quickly get the status update. It also helps you reduce risk associated with managing several artifacts of the project at various phases. And that's where we started understanding that how ALM could be better than Excel. Tool can also be customized based on the project and organization needs as the tool is customizable subject to you know how to operate your system uh, site administrator. And least but obviously very important, you know, when you talk about the centralized, the web-based tool to be accessed from anywhere. That means the tool is accessible no matter where you are. So on the go, you can access everything. An add-on point to understand is that this tool is also available on iPhone. So you can install this app and you can have a quick access to your projects and details if you are looking forward to have a quick update from the status update of the progress of the project. So this is what we have from this particular tutorial. We'll be exploring more beyond this with this interaction of the tool in the next tutorial. So in today's tutorial, you understood about the basic concepts of ALM, which is very helpful to build a foundation to understand the tool in more detail. In the next tutorial, we'll be trying to explore practically that how these things can be achieved by interacting with the tool. And also we will understand that how we can actually manage all our resources using the ALM. So stay tuned for that. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. Until then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.